Now, at the beginning of March, a number of EU countries promised to take in at least 1,600 migrant children from camps on Greek islands, including Moria in Lesbos. Uh, the threat posed by the coronavirus delayed implementation of that program, but now Germany and Luxembourg have flown out the first group of 70 unaccompanied minors. Far, far from enough, say children's rights groups. Thousands of other youngsters, many of whom desperately need help, are being left behind. For many children in the Moria camp Lesbos, this is their bathroom and their playground. The camp currently houses over 7,000 children. Because of coronavirus restrictions, none of them are going to school. Desperately overcrowded, Moria is now largely sealed off and many international aid workers have left their posts. It's a miracle we're even alive. But if the virus takes hold, they won't need to think about treating the ill. All they'll have to think about is how they can bury the dead, because that's all they'll be able to do. Hossein Hussain is from Afghanistan. He's been living here for seven months together with his wife and two children. They share four square meters in a container. Winter was bad, he says, but Corona has made things much worse. Hossein and his wife are especially worried about five-year-old Muhammad. The boy was born prematurely and suffers from epilepsy and fainting fits. What happens if the virus comes here? Even healthy humans can't fight it. And thousands have died around the world. So how can a frail little boy like Muhammad possibly survive? They don't let Muhammad out of their sight even for a moment. The lack of space, the noise, the dirt, it's a terrible combination. What the boy really needs are medicine and specialist treatments in a good hospital. But nothing like that exists in the camp. That was why two months ago the family got a special permit to leave Lesbos. But then the authorities cancelled the permit because of the corona crisis. We want them to process things fast so that we can get out of here as soon as possible. To go somewhere where our son can get proper treatment and is looked after. Really, all our thoughts and our only concern is with Mohammad. The International Medical Organization, Doctors Without Borders, runs a provisional clinic next to the camp, but are unable to treat chronic illnesses like Mohammad's. It's good, they say, that some children are being flown out, but they add, it's far from being good enough. Let me first say, it's, it's, it's a positive development, finally, that something is moving and that children are being taken out. But these numbers are so small that the question for me is not a question of capacity, but it's all an issue of political will. As the pandemic spreads, relief organizations are now calling for the full evacuation of the camp. But Greece's government took a different approach. It has tightened the asylum law and later suspended the law governing the right to asylum for a month. They say the law has changed. Why has it changed? Can't anybody see that this child needs treatment? Can't they see that this is not a good place to keep him? That he can't stay? Isn't this law not considering these things at all? Hossein Hosseini says he now regrets ever taking his family on the dangerous journey to Europe. And many here now believe that what the Greek authorities are set on doing is to use the shocking conditions in the Moria camp as a deterrent.